We're so attached to the material world that our masters gave us fasting so that we can forget it for a little while. And in that forgetting, we allow our egos to dissolve. Our egos are what holds all of our hopes, fears, desires, dreams, and shit. You gotta let that go during this time. Fasting in prayer. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girlfriend Elungu. And we are Fine Jesse. Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction. This one right here was suggested by Zainab. And uh, she said that we should go react to uh, Ramadan Kills Games. <laughs> what do you think about this video? Would you, would you, would you understand by games? I didn't even notice it said games. I don't know. What do you think it's about? Game. It's like a kill. Think so? Oh yeah, I think so. Anyway, so uh, without any further ado, man, let's jump in. Let's just go. In. Uh, thank you, Zena, for giving us this reaction with the real estate key, man. And if you have more reactions, let us know in the comment section, and we're gonna do it for you. So right about now, let's jump in and do this reaction over here. And without any further ado, let's get it. Yo, Elliot. I'm Muslim and in a few days it's Ramadan. What can I do to make sure that I'm burning fat during these days of Ramadan so that afterwards I can look a bit more muscular? Yo, Elliot! So for those of you who aren't clear as to what exactly happens during Ramadan with regard to your diet, you're not going to be eating or drinking from sunup to sundown for about a month. This is the antithesis to building a beautiful body. But you must understand why you do it because it will be the key to being the strongest version of yourself. I'm familiar with fasting for periods of time, dry fasting. I did it this year for the Baha'i fast. If you look at my uh, videos from May, you would see this is what I was doing. And although there are a few things that you can do while you are eating in order to facilitate good health, because that's what you really should be thinking about, consider this an opportunity to clean the slate, brand new canvas, Die to your old self, your old ambitions, your old hope, fears, and dreams, and desires, and grasping and needingness. That's what this spiritual fast is all about, and I'm talking to you specifically as a Muslim. Yes, building muscle and burning fat is great, but it is of the world. The reason why we fast is so that we can be anti-world, anti, like I use that word antithesis to building muscle, because building muscle has everything to do with the physicality of the world, and we fast so that we can drop physicality completely. We're so attached to the material world that our masters gave us fasting so that we can forget it for a little while. And in that forgetting, we allow our egos to dissolve. Our egos are what holds all of our hopes, fears, desires, dreams, and shit. You gotta let that go during this time. Fasting in prayer. Get the most out of your Ramadan. Not worrying and anxious about your muscle and fat. Mm -hmm. That is, that is, defeats the purpose. Don't fast if that's what you're thinking about while you're fasting. Don't do it. If you're fasting and you're thinking about physicality, even though it's a spiritual act, that means you're doing it for the wrong reasons and you should just stop. You're fasting so that you can forget the muscle. You can forget the world. But it is a grand opportunity, my friend, one that we all benefit from. And that's why fasting has become so mainstream and popular because we're waking up to the things the masters have told us for many, many, many generations. In this world, we have become batteries in the matrix. Like if you've seen the movie, only difference is they don't plug us in, they get us plugged in by making us consistently consume live in a consumer culture. You're either consuming yeah. ideas, you're consuming entertainment. That's really what I mean by ideas. Mm -hmm. Consuming entertainment, consuming food. And the only way that the matrix is going to continue to siphon your energy off of you, the world, the material world, 
is going to continue to cipher energy off of you is if you can produce money for them. And when you stop eating, you are you are the biggest you're con, con, you're doing the biggest rebellious thing that you can possibly do to a structural entity within the society that is on its way out. They don't want you to fast. That's why they've been teaching us that we need to eat so fucking much. And that fasting has been thrown out the window with mysticism in prayer. Who does that shit? There's no proof there. That's because there's no money there. Proof only goes to where they have money to get proof. Right? If I prove something that's going to make me rich, I'm going to prove the fuck out of it. There's no proof. And you don't need it. I was watching a video about, uh, or I was watching a documentary about fasting and how in the Soviet Union, you know, many, many, many years ago, they were investing all this into fasting because they wanted to heal the people and they didn't want to spend so much on health care. And they were really making some tremendous breakthroughs with fasting. But when the regime fell and capitalism took over, there's no money in it. I'm going to invest money in a system that gets people in a, in a, in a thing, in a way of being that gets people out of the medical care system, right? You start fasting, you start, get health, start getting healthy, you're saying fuck you to the world of medical malpractice and medicine and all that shit that they do in order to make us sick mentally and physically. It's a flawed fucking system. That's why Muhammad, PBH, says fast. Jesus says fast. Buddha says fast. All these teachers tell us Distance yourself from the world. You keep eating processed shit, you're putting money in the system. In Babylon. I love the way the Rastas call it. Lock it. Like the Rasta. Babylon offer, Rasta refuse it. Rasta refuse to eat. That's the most rebellious thing you can do, my man, so you get to own yourself once again as a faster. Take pride, ownership. You want to be the strongest version of yourself. You want to look great because our body is a reflection of our soul, I'll tell you that. Then you take back your sovereignty by making deliberate conscious choices about what you don't put in your body during these days, right? Maybe use the fast to think about what you're not going to eat. Maybe even keep a journal of what you would have eaten but you're not eating. Take a look at how much integrity you build. Sovereignty, meaning self-ownership you develop. Even in religions, the gifts that the masters gave us turn rancor, rotten, because we do it for the wrong reasons and we forget why they gave us these gifts, my man. So use Ramadan as an opportunity to die to the world, die to your muscular system, die to all the things that you've been told you need to be, have, do, and eat. So that at the end of it, you are a baby again. You know who grows the fastest? Babies, because they're brand fucking new. Let Ramadan cause you to die. Be born again at the end of it and start with a clean colon, done. Epic. That was amazing. Anyway. Um, Ramadan kills games. I mean, he said a lot of good points in that man. So, a lot of points. I don't know where to start with, but uh, one point that got me really uh, like the thing is all the all the religion they teach us to fast. You get it. So uh, that tells you like every religion is a good religion. You get it. I mean, just just to start with. And another thing that he mentioned in there is that the the the, the, the during Ramadan, as you fast, you 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 somehow like you you are told to forget 
the world. I mean, just die for. Huh? Die for? I don't know, die for the world. What do you, what, what do you say? You're supposed to forget about worldly things. Yeah. Who you are, you part of you. Yeah, you forget to just forget. Just be you. Just because you, you, you are building your muscles and you really worry about me not building my muscles during Ramadan because I have to eat in the morning, evening and, and eat those protein shakes and whatnot. Hell no, you have to put that aside and forget about the worldly stuff and focus on on uh, on fasting. You get it? Fasting and knowing thyself, finding who you are and such kind of things. I mean, this, this, these are things that most people don't really practice them but they're really, really good. And even to go even deeper, what they were saying that uh, uh, they don't like it when they see people fasting. Yeah, they don't like it at all. Like they feel like we are not making money out of these people. Why are they fasting? They're supposed to eat three times a day, which is so wrong. Which is so wrong. Why would why? Somebody say uh, if you guys follow Ralph, Ralph uh, Infinity Ward or something like that. He say that we are the only species in this world that eat three times a day, even five times a day. You have a dog in the house, yeah? You have a cat in the house. Does that cat eat three times a day? No. They eat once. <laughs> they go. Yeah, they eat once. Not unless you're overfeeding your dog or you're overfeeding a cat, but normally just maybe wild cats or whatever animal after. They eat once. And they, they are able to survive 24 hours, but look at us. We eat three times a day, and in that period of uh, breakfast and, <laughs> and lunch time, you have a piece of chips. You have so many things that you eat. Imagine all these kind of things. So what you do is, you actually uh, 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 being a catalyst of these worldly things you're actually helping the people who created money to even circulate that money they don't want you to to, to eat food no sorry they don't want you to to like fast to yeah they want you to keep on eating so that the money can keep on circulating you get it because the moment you're hungry you want to go to the stores and buy food that's what they want so what do you think a big shout out to Zainab for wanting us to understand what Ramadan is about. Yeah, Willis MVP, thank you so much, man. Like I always say, every video is like reminding us of how we should live. It's like a learning curve. Something we already know, but it's a, just a reminder. Like I said, when I was thinking, Genzi said it's about <laughs> 40, but then I'm also thinking <clears throat> when it's fasting period. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be about Jesse with the what uh, Gucci belt. Yeah, you sure. You pull all those things. You, it's yeah, like you, you drop your mask, mm -hmm. and now it's just it's a time to be reborn, to be fresh. Yeah, reborn. Yeah, refreshed. Just it's, remember who you are. Remove your toxic, like just you. It's just like a baby, you know, just becoming pure. You remove all your toxic, yes. whatever thing that is in Purifying there. Purifying yourself. Yeah. Someone actually um, challenged us to fast. Fasting, yeah. Yeah, but we didn't do it because. <laughs> <laughs> because <it> was... <laughs> I'm going to say because we had a lot of things going on. Oh my god. Anyway, guys. Am I lying? Oh, am I lying? Yeah, it's kind of true though. We were busy with what? It's kind and of true. it was a hot guy. It's kind of true, but that shouldn't be a reason for you not fasting. What I want, no, it shouldn't be a reason. What I'm saying is maybe now that no, so it shouldn't be an excuse. What I'm trying to say is now that we have at least this that explains fasting. Mm -hmm. Well explained, more, well explained actually. Maybe we can take up the challenges. And Never too I, late to fast. Exactly. I mean, fasting shouldn't just be during Ramadan. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it should be. You can pick uh, any day of a week. Say like you want to fast on a Friday or you can say like you know fast on a Friday or Saturday or Sunday, just any day in a week. Then just do it and you see, I don't know, probably it's gonna change uh, our lives or something like that. Because now school is out, so if you have to fast, then what do you do the rest of the day? Uh, but I, I I shouldn't think that way that when school is out. 
I mean, I didn't say when squeeze out, I said now, now squeeze or, out, now. and if we should take on that challenge of fasting, so what do we do the rest of the day? You just go with the normal things. If you're supposed to go to town, go. It shouldn't be like, because I'm fasting, I'm not going anywhere. That's how Islam teaches that if you're fasting, go with your daily. Just no, normally when you wake up in the morning and go to work, you shouldn't be like, I know I'm fasting, so I, want, I don't want to go to work or I don't want to do anything. No, that's bad. You, you, you should be able to sacrifice and endure pain through fasting. I mean, you should be able to, to, to it's, it's, like a, it's like a sacrifice thing. You get it, you're sacrificing yourself to do all that. And you, you have to endure pain, you get it? Yeah. So anyway guys, um, such a nice video right there, man. He talked about a lot of good things in there. We can't be able to, you know, tackle everything. If you it feel like, itself. yeah, it just expands itself. If you feel like you, you, you have something you need to add up on this video, just let us know in the comment section below, and we're gonna read it and we're gonna take it to note, and we'll be able to even probably reply back to you. And yeah. Anyway, guys, if you if you feel like you reacted to this video in a better way, to give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to go down in the comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction. And what do you feel about this video right here, Ramadan kills games? And the most important, yeah, and the most important thing is that we want to give a shout out to uh, Zainab. You, the realest MVP man. You gave us this this reaction right here, and it actually made us think too much, or maybe not even think. It's helping educated us. Instead yeah. of um, judging us from our pre previous video. Yeah. Well, we are learning and it's, it's, it's a learning curve too, you get, we are in the process of learning. Anyway guys, thank you so much and the most important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, the more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video and peace out.